Now it's a two-stroke engine um, and it needs a two-stroke mixture of fuel. Now the bottle here has lots of graduations on it, but it's got a fuel graduation which is one litre. What you need to do, and be quite accurate with this, is to fill the bottle with one litre of fuel just up to the lower line where it says one litre. And this particular model depends on which sort of um, two-stroke additive you're using. But the typical good quality two-stroke additives are at a 40 to 1 mixture. Um, some of the cheaper ones you may need to use 25 to 1, but 40 to 1 is what we recommend if you're using a good quality uh, two-stroke oil. So what you'll see is that there is a second line a little bit further up from the fuel line which says 40 to 1 and you need to fill it up to that level with your two-stroke oil to top it up for the 40 to 1 ratio. Should you be using the lower uh, branded oils you need to come up to the 25 to 1 so it's a little bit more two-stroke oil which gives you 25 to 1 mixture. So that's your two-stroke but that is vitally important. If you don't put two-stroke oil in this machine it will seize the engine. It will seize the engine in a very short time so be very accurate with the way you mix your two-stroke oil and that's why we've given you a bottle to do the job quite accurately. So first I'll go through the difference between a cold and hot engine start. A cold start is an attempt to start the engine when it's cold, such as when the engine hasn't been run recently and warmed up. When you run the engine it will warm up to its operating or running temperature. A warm start is when the engine is still warm from being run and then stopped recently and hasn't yet fully cooled. Now let's go through the starting procedure. First of all, on off switch, number one and a zero. Number one is on, zero is off. No need to do anything at all with the throttle, nothing at all. Number one, switched on. Having filled it with fuel at the 40 to 1, as we mentioned earlier on, two stroke fuel, the next thing to do is to prime it. Now I'll tip it up on its side to see if you can see, but there's a primer bulb just underneath, underneath the air filter here. You need to push this primer bulb probably 10 to 15 times, and you'll see the two little fuel pipes here, the fuel sucking up and returning to the tank. So as you're doing it, once you've got you know, clean fuel without too many bubbles returning to the tank, it's ready to start. Next thing, from a cold start, the choke lever. This is choke off in the down position, and up here is choke on. So with a cold engine, choke on. If it's been running for 10 minutes or so, you can probably start it without the choke. Um, but choke on, choke off. So to start it, switch on, primed, choke on, and then pull the pull starter. I'm not going to start it here. There's no fuel in it anyway, but I'm not going to demonstrate the pull starter. But pretty much you need to pull it out until you feel resistance. Back in, now it's a nice soft start on this, so it doesn't take a great deal of pulling. Pull but put it on a smooth, flat surface, preferably beyond the ground. Good grasp of the machine with the one hand and pull the pull cord with the other. And the machine will start up, you know, if it's stone cold, it may be one, two pulls maybe. But uh, typically, if you've already started it that day, one pull will start it up no problem at all. And um, the engine will then be taken over. Leave it for a few seconds and turn the choke off by pushing the lever down. And the engine should just tick over gently without the head spinning. So basically, when the engine is ticking over, without pulling the throttle. We don't want this head rotating at all, so it should just sit there, that won't turn at all. When you then pull on the throttle, I'll explain the throttle to you. The throttle has two parts, so you have to grab it completely with your hand. This is the lock, so that has to be in for you able to pull the throttle to rev it up. Let me just show that, if I don't push that in, that doesn't move, it locks, it stops. If I push that in, it will then rev. So that's the throttle. So the more you pull it back, the faster the engine goes. And then when you release, the engine goes back to a tick over and the head will stop rotating. So that's the throttle, the starting procedure. When the engine, you want to stop the engine, you let go of the throttle, let it go back to the tick over position and switch the engine off. I must mention never to leave it unattended, certainly with the engine running, um, because a rotating blade and what have you can be quite dangerous in the wrong hands. For more information on the full range, visit HyundaiPowerEquipment.co.uk.